Andrew Jeffer, journaliste britannique. Euh, je, je vais m'exprimer en, en anglais parce qu'on a déjà des commentaires magnifiques en français. Uh, OK. Great to be here. Wonderful to be here. Because there is no place quite like this anywhere else on planet wine. Um, and part of that is the culture of wine that exists here, the sort of vocation. That's so important in what's being created here, the sense of doing something purposeful and noble, uh, which expresses your place and which draws deep on the well of wine culture. And this has been a fantastic, uh, a fantastic example for, for Languedoc in general. Actually, it's one that hasn't been enough followed in Languedoc. It deserves to be much more followed. So that's one reason why I'm very happy to be here. Another reason is because this wine is, is totally unique. There's, there's nothing else like it. It's You know, I, I often struggle to, to put it in the Languedoc context because it often seems to me much more a, a vin septentrional que meridional. Uh, it has a sort of a completely northerly profile. It's a much smaller wine than most of the wines are in Languedoc. Uh, it has this extraordinary ability to age. It has this extraordinary uh, composition of great varieties and blends. It has a, a, a way of approach and an approach to, to winemaking that, that goes back Uh, much, much further than, than most of the approaches in Languedoc at the moment. So you end up with this extraordinary wine that uh, has its particular varietal composition, therefore it has a particular spectrum of aroma and flavor. Uh, it has very delicate tannins. Uh, the acidity is relatively prominent. It's quite light. It's in some ways quite petite. And yet it has this extraordinary sort of grain and finesse and depth to it. That, that, that means that it's a very rewarding wine to drink. It has wonderful drinkability. Um, okay, that's, I've probably said enough, but uh, just on vintages, you know, I always like the ripest vintages here at Master Dumas. We're at relatively high altitude. It's quite a cool site for Languedoc. We're using the grape spectrum of grape varieties we're using. So to me, the wines that, that are most successful tend to be the riper wines I particularly like from young to old, 2020, which I think is a very fine wine, 2016, ravishing fruit on that wine. Uh, and then nine and 10 are both impressive in their own way, but I don't have them at quite the highest level. And then we have a wonderful suite of wines, 2003, 1998, 1988, and 1982, I thought were all fantastic. Um, so thank you for this wonderful opportunity.